Chapter 1 Computer Ethics and Crimes Dear students, Internet is an open medium which everyone can access. Hence, it is imperative that we use it responsibly and carefully. Yes, teacher, we agree with this fact. We would like to learn how to do this and be a responsible citizen. A set of guiding principles for using computers without causing harm to others is called computer ethics. Computer ethics sets certain guidelines for communication and interaction among people over Internet without causing any harm to the people and their data. There are a variety of cyber threats on Internet today that may cause psychological harms as well as loss of your important data and information, cyber threats and protection from them. An online computer is exposed to the threat of viruses, spyware, unauthorized access and information theft. Once information is stolen, it can be used for criminal purposes by hackers. Hackers can use a computer to commit criminal activities and send out spam. Viruses, Trojans and Worms Viruses are malicious codes that attach themselves with program files and corrupt them. They destroy useful data, format or corrupt data storage. Entire computer system can be rendered useless. Trojans are malicious programs that are promoted as useful utilities or software and once installed, affect the computer system and files. Worms are the program codes that spread their copies over a network from one computer to the other and make the computers slower in processing. Protection Antiviruses Antiviruses like Norton Antivirus, McAfee Virus can Kaspersky, etc. provide robust and effective protection to the computer. Users should have the antivirus software installed on their computers. It is also important to keep the antivirus updated regularly to identify and neutralize newly developed malicious programs. Firewall A firewall provides another level of protection to prevent incoming attacks. Operating system provides firewall protection which can be activated to filter unwanted access to the computers over a network. Private networks use firewalls to keep unwanted IP addresses filtered out. Operating system update. Windows updates and update of your browser fills any security holes and bugs which hackers can use to access your computer. Do not install undesired utilities or plugins in your browser. Do not open strange, unrecognized emails or attachments, even from a reliable source. Worms spread by infected attachments and may launch email attack to other users. Necessary attachments should be saved and virus scanned. Spyware or adware. Spyware installs itself on the computer without user's knowledge and monitors keystrokes, takes screenshots, reads chat, collects device and user information and forwards it to malicious owners of such programs. Loss of confidential information and identity theft are the threats posed by spywares. Protection. Install an effective spyware detecting software. Keep your operating system and browser updated. Check if any unnecessary software is being installed. It is often during the installation steps and in the user agreement. Carefully read and close any warning boxes that look like important messages. Be careful while installing free programs, games or shareware. Free programs may contain spyware. Spam Spam is unsolicited or undesired junk email, usually a promotional material. Senders of such emails are called spammers. Spams have a link that lures the user into clicking it. 
This confirms user's email ID and that brings in more spam in future. Protection. Use spam filtering settings in the email service. Share your personal email ID only with those you trust. Do not display your email ID online for everyone to access. Create separate email accounts for public use. Look out for spelling mistakes and bad grammar in the mail. These mistakes are done by spammers to pass through the spam filter. Phishing and farming. Phishing. Fraudulently acquiring sensitive information from the users by impersonating trusted websites like banks and e-commerce merchants, etc. is called phishing. Fishers target the details like pins, passwords and answers to security questions. Phishing occurs generally in the form of an email or through a legitimate sounding phone call. Farming, when website's traffic is redirected to another unauthorized fake URL, then it is called farming. Hackers somehow get access to the website's servers and manipulate the configuration files which identify the server as host website on Internet. Protection Install anti-phishing software. Never give away any sensitive information related to finance and security like pins, passwords, bank balance, transaction details, identification numbers, etc. in reply to undesired emails and never on phone. Always cross-check the source of email and phone call with the concerned agency. Today, all authentic agencies like banks and merchants have their own secured apps for transactions. Download and use them on your mobile phones instead of unknown third-party apps. Fishers address their targets with fancy terms like valued customer, but genuine agency will address you by your correct name, username, customer ID, etc. Regularly check your financial statements and account details. Secured socket layer certification is done for websites by known authorized certification authorities, CA. CAs do not issue SSL certificates to fishers, spammers or any agency that is not properly identified and cleared. Check the website's certificate icon of a padlock in the address bar. All secured websites have SSL Secured Socket Layer Certificates If padlock icon is of open lock, then website is not secured and must be left immediately. Never ignore operating system antivirus and browser upgrades. Do them as and when prompted or required. Websites should deploy effective firewalls with suitable settings to keep away unauthorized access and intrusion. Let us understand what a firewall is and what does it do. Firewall. A firewall is a security combination of hardware and software that is used to protect a server and network resources from unauthorized access and intrusion. Firewall checks the incoming data packets over the networks and filters out which do not have suitable and sufficient permission to access the network. This way, an extra level of protection is created right at the gates of the network. Internet Frauds and Scams Today, we virtually live and shop on Internet. Scammers send the users tempting newsletters and prompts of getting rich quick through online gambling, lottery or games, alluring them to click the link. Once you accept the offer, they attempt to take sensitive information like credit card numbers, pins, etc. Protection Do not accept offers impulsively. Ask yourself, do I really need it? Does it really concern me? Avoid individuals asking for donations. Avoid accepting or vouching for any financial transaction with online friends whom you have never met especially those in known notorious regions of the world. Avoid charity involvement offers. 